Green Lantern in the Marvel Universe is an absolutely interesting thought. The idea of Hal Jordan or any of the other Green Lanterns navigating around the chaotic landscape of the Marvel Universe's heroes and villains creates an entirely new dynamic. From working alongside the Avengers to taking on the cosmic level threats that the Marvel Universe has to offer, it is very clear that Green Lantern would shake things up. So. I'm just here to talk about how I specifically think Green Lantern would fit into the Marvel Universe if he was just kind of put in there. And I hope you guys do enjoy this video. So we'll just kind of really just discuss my thoughts and opinions on how I think all of this would work. First, I really just honestly want to talk about how Green Lantern would interact with like the main team of the Avengers. And this would be a very, very interesting kind of compatibility to say the least. Green Lantern's ring gives him nearly unlimited power, which would make for a perfect addition alongside to the Avengers. His ability create his ability to create constructions from simple shields to complex mechanery would very hugely add a very tactical advantage. He'd be likely positioned as a heavy hitter with inside the team. Tony Stark, while obviously is known for his genius and his ego, would likely also have a very hard time with the idea of someone having power without the technology. Stark might see Green Lantern's ability as something to be controlled or replicated, which could lead to a bit of tension between the two. We all kind of know how Tony is, and if it's a power specifically like the Green Lantern ring, Tony would probably want to figure out as much as he can about it to figure out if there's any kind of way to re replicate the technology or like any of the abilities shown in the Lantern ring to kind of either use for himself or just kind of toy around with. It's the kind of person that Tony is, so that's kind of really why I just had to mention it. While somebody like specifically Cap, on the other hand, would appreciate Green Lantern's discipline and sense of responsibility. Hal's commitment to justice and willingness to lead would probably make these two very natural allies and probably make them fairly quick friends, along with the fact that he did used to be a pilot for like the Air Force and like he used to actually be a fairly decent pilot. They would probably have a little more in common automatically just off of that pure specific kind of fact. A specific person that I would like to also talk about would be his rivalry with Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange has, is a character that has a reliance on mysticism that would put him at odds with somebody like Green Lantern's more scientific approach to power. While both of them have near godlike abilities, Doctor Strange's magic and Green Lantern's rings are fundamentally different on how they're utilized. Doctor Strange might see the Green Lantern as a threat to his like mystic order, while Hal might dismiss Strange's magic as too unpredictable. Strange's methods are highly disciplined and ritualistic, while if we're being honest, Green Lantern is a lot more flexible, relying on willpower and creativity than the mysticism that Doctor Strange so heavily focuses on. This would most likely to lead to some kind of friction on their specific approaches, especially when faced with any major supernatural threat. But obviously, however, if a major th threat actively would arise that would require both of them to actively work together, they would very easily be able to do so. And I honestly find that this would be a very interesting matchup to see how Doctor Strange's specific abilities and Green Lantern's abilities would actively work together, specifically due to Doctor Strange being able to create so many different things and all of the kind of combinations that could just be very well created in a team up like that. Now, obviously, another thing that we have to talk about is something that would very much relate to someone like Green Lantern, and that would be facing off against Marvel's more cosmic level threats, characters like Galactus, Thanos, and even the Celestials. When it comes to, first of all, talking to some, about someone like Galactus, Galactus is a force to be reckoned with, and Hal would have his hands very much full. Though the Green Lantern ring is powerful, it might not be enough to stop someone like Galactus, who devours entire planets. This is a situation where Hal would have to think very much outside the box, likely needing the help of other Avengers or cosmic beings to stand a chance to defeat the devourer of worlds. 
Galactus is a very big threat with specifically his Heralds of Galactus. It would be a very hard time for someone like Howl or any other Lantern alone to be trying to deal with. Some of them are obviously stronger than others and a situation where Howl became a Herald of Galactus would go absolutely insane. But that's just like ranting on for specific different things that really could be very interesting situations and outcomes later on. And that's just honestly me just really just talking about specific things like this because Galactus is just absolutely that strong. He is a character that is very much just so interesting and very capable that so many different things could just very easily happen in a situation like that. Obviously, the next person that we would have to talk about is somebody like Thanos, specifically with the Infinity Stones. Thanos could control and has control over the Infinity Stones, which makes him an overwhelming opponent for Green Lantern. The sheer destructive power of the stones would challenge even the willpower of someone like Hal Jordan. However, Green Lantern's ability to adapt and think strategically might actually give him a fighting chance against like Thanos and being able to separate him from the stones or at least find a way to counter them. We know that the stronger willpower that you have, the stronger the constructs and all of the other things that make a Green Lantern so incredibly powerful and there is none really more powerful than somebody like Hal Jordan. And him being able to actually like come up with this crazy enough idea to be able to separate Thanos from the stones could actively be like plausible and it would just be a very interesting fight to be holding on to any specific kind of way anyways. And obviously, the last kind of cosmic threat that we would have to talk about would be the Celestials, the nearly godlike beings whose power dwarfs even most other beings in the entirety of the Marvel Universe. Green Lantern would probably have a tough time taking on them alone, however, his experience in cosmic battles would probably help him find a way to fight back, and it would be a massive uphill battle that would require a lot of cooperation from other Marvel heroes, but obviously the main reason why I had to talk about these specific three is because he is a Green Lantern, and his main dominion obviously might be Earth or whatever, but... He is a protector of space. He literally has to spend a good portion of his time going between other worlds or just dealing with space in general. And these are the biggest three threats to something like space or the three biggest three components to anything space related in any kind of way. So not talking about them would just be a very weird kind of situation. It would just be basically bad doing on my part. Now... Getting back to like, you know, the more realism and like the more normal kind of things to talk about, he would most likely have some kind of connection or even maybe a conflict with S.H.I.E.L.D. And most specifically would be the skepticism and control. Gre given Green Lantern's immense power, S.H.I.E.L.D. would most likely be highly suspicious of him. Nick Fury would want to keep a close eye on someone who can literally wield the power of the universe through a ring, and the government would most likely attempt to control how or monitor him to see kind of what he's going to be doing. Obviously, we have people like Captain Marvel who are fairly similar to Hal in a very good specific kind of ways, but Hal is just a little different on a few different things and his relationship would be very much different, especially if we talk about a lot of situations like the, how they did the movies. It is basically kind of a very similar situation and almost the exact same situation to how Hal Jordan gets his ring. And it would just be one of those things where he would most likely be spending a lot more time on Earth and off world. But it's just a very, very similar relationship there. And. One thing that I would honestly see something like S.H.I.E.L.D. trying to do, specifically Nick Fury, would be trying to take control over the Green Lantern Ring, viewing it as a potential weapon that they could use to further their own agendas. We all know the U.S. We all know the entirety of any kind of human intervention. The only thing that you can never truly account for is humans doing what humans want to do. And this would be a very, very likely kind of situation. This would also be a very direct <laughs> violation of Hal's autonomy, and he'd have a very tough time working under such surveillance. This would be a very big situation of independence versus authority. 
Green Lantern's need for independence would directly clash with S.H.I.E.L.D.'s controlling nature, and this could very much lead to uh, uh, several conflicts where Hal refuses to bow down to their authority or might even go rogue if he feels like they're just overstepping their boundaries. And knowing Nick Fury or any specific thing like that, there would be a good lot of possibility for them to actively try just overstepping their boundaries just enough to the point that he's just going to get absolutely irritated and annoyed with any specific kind of person like that. Now, obviously, if we just kind of continue off with just like talking about all of these different things, I also want to kind of talk about specific relationships that I honestly see him having. And one of the best relationships that I could see him having is probably one of the main characters that would have a good relationship with almost any specific person, which would be Spider-Man. Spider-Man is a character that really gets along with any specific kind of person on most normal occasions. And I see him having a decent relationship or at least a fairly good one with someone like um, uh, Green Lantern. Like, he has this great power comes great responsibility philosophy that aligns fairly well with Green Lantern's own sense of duty. Hal Jordan would see a lot of himself in Peter, someone trying to juggle a normal life between saving the world. While, and I honestly think while they would get along, they would probably have a few heart-to-heart -heart conversations about how hard it is to keep both identities in balance. While they share a sense of responsibility, Spider-Man's quips and humors might kind of clash with Hal's more serious demeanor. Spider-Man is a character who's quick to joke and to try to ease tension, while Hal can actively be a little more calm, intense, and focused. I do see a fairly good chance of them maybe most likely poking fun at each other, but more out of a more mutual respect than anything specifically else. When it comes to like fighting though, these two would make an absolutely excellent team. Spider-Man's agility and intelligence combined with Green Lantern's The Ring could lead to some amazing strategies and action sequences. They'd complement each other in every singular way that very few other heroes could actively make. This is a very good kind of situation and teamwork, and the main reason why I wanted to kind of discuss this was due to the fact of Spider-Man's main thing is kind of web-swinging, and... Obviously, in situations where there are literally no high places or no places that he could swing, Hal could literally make entire places for Spidey to be able to keep him continuously swinging and have like a more better movement and like environment for himself fairly, fairly easily. His hard constructs would be very useful for somebody just like Spidey and the amount of teamwork and kind of cooperation that these two would be able to make in the entire just kind of ideas that they could easily make and maneuver together would just be absolutely insane and just awe striking now there obviously are also a good portion of people that i also see him most likely clashing with and hilariously enough the first person that i see him clashing with decently would be somebody that also is green and this is obviously the hulk the hulk's brute strength and nearly unmatched just rage would have Green Lantern finding it difficult to kind of take him on directly. This would be a very big situation where Hulk probably just wouldn't like Hal in a lot of very many ways, and Hal's, is, like, Hal's ability to create constructs, particularly those designed to restrain somebody, it would honestly kind of be a very interesting kind of fight to very see in any specific way. Hal would very much have to rely on strategy, on his ring's versatility to outlast somebody like the Hulk's fury, but I just see it being a very interesting fight to very well behold. Magneto is somebody that I see possibly Hal having some kind of confrontation with due to the fact of the Green Lantern ring probably most likely containing some kind of metal and Magneto would probably try controlling it or just trying to do something with it just for the absolute interest of my own mind. And it would just kind of be a very big situation where Hal would need some way to counteract this. And it would just be a very interesting situation entirely. One other person that I also just wanted to talk about briefly is Black Bolt. Black Bolt is someone that I honestly wanted to talk about due to the fact that the Inhumans are usually not actively on Earth. And they would probably still under, obviously fall under Hal's jurisdiction due to the fact that they just have their own specific place on the moon. 
And I know I see a very good situation of Green Lantern actually having to like, you know, make sure that the Inhumans are all okay, coming and checking in on the human and having some kind of relationship with somebody like Black Bolt, where they would most likely have some kind of active, you know, meetings and probably start off probably not really getting on the off on the right foot due to the fact that, you know, Hal's basically just jurisdicting and having whatever kind of relationship that he's trying to have. And it would probably not work well immediately, but eventually they probably would start working off better and eventually understand that they're both just trying to do their jobs and actually trying to do the best for specifically any specific body else. Now, I do specifically also see him having an X-Men dynamic. And obviously, while, yes, he's not a mutant, Professor X would probably see him as a powerful ally in the fight for mutant rights. They both share a commitment to protecting the innocent, but Professor X might be a little more careful in dealing with something like Hal's overwhelming power. They'd most likely form a strategic alliance with Professor X providing guidance on how best to use the ring in a morally responsible way. Cyclops is another person that I honestly just kind of literally want to talk about a little because he is known for his very strict leadership style, which might have reservations on green, like Green Lantern's like a, like lack of accountability. He might question how Hal can wield such power without very much oversight. And obviously, yes, he has like the entire like Green Lantern Council, but it would just be more of like direct oversight or just like people to act like tell him a lot more things. You know how Cyclops is very irritable, very, very fast. But I also do see a very nice situation where him having a very buddy buddy relationship with somebody like um, Wolverine, whose blunt, no nonsense attitude would likely sometimes obviously clash with Green Lantern's more like controlled approach. But they both very much respect each other as fighters, and he would just be kind of more having a good, decent relationship with them on that specific end. Now, obviously, there is probably one group of people that you guys have all been waiting for, and that is the Guardians of the Galaxy. Green Lantern's experience in cosmic protection would probably make him a valuable asset to the Guardians, and he's dealt with some of the biggest threats in the universe and could probably mesh well with the Guardians' more chaotic style. While they do operate differently, and they would probably find some common, gr common ground on uh, their shared mission to protect the universe from cosmic dangers, there is probably like a good Porsche possibility of them just very much clashing also. Star-Lord might also see um, Green Lantern's nature as like a very serious buzzkill, and specifically while Hal would probably find Peter Quill's antic to be very reckless, I see them still having a decent relationship. Especially like when the chips are down, they would most likely have each other's back, especially when facing threats that require teamwork and their use of like combined strengths. The only other reason I see they're clashing any kind of way would just specifically be in a situation where they actively have to decide a leader. And nine times out of ten, I see Green Lantern, if he actually were to join something like the Green, like the actual Guardians of the Galaxy, kind of just making that and taking that leadership role due to the fact that one, his abilities are just so uniquely qualified and his powers just kind of would be best suited to lead. And I also do see a very funny situation where Rocket would no doubt be fascinated by the Green Lantern ring and would want to get his hands on it. Rocket's mischievous nature would clash with maybe like Hal's more serious approach, but it would lead to very funny moments where Rocket tries um, either to use the ring on his own gain or only for how to just kind of step in and show him who's exactly in charge. Obviously, we know Rocket probably might not be able to use the ring, but it would just be a very funny situation in the end anyways. So, honestly, there it is. Green Lantern in the Marvel Universe would bring some major changes, both in terms of powers and how heroes interact with each other. He'd fit very well with the Avengers, most likely clash with S.H.I.E.L.D., and probably cause some headaches for Magneto, the Hulk, and the rest of Marvel's most dangerous villains. 
his dynamic with other characters and specifically heroes like Spider-Man and the X-Men would be fascinating. And when it comes down to cosmic threats like Galactus or Thanos, he'd certainly be a very major player. But what do you think Green Lantern would truly like? Who do you think Green Lantern would truly mesh well with in the Marvel Universe? Or do you think that his presence kind of would throw everything off balance? How do you think everything would go? Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you guys can get caught up with all the latest videos. If you guys are still here, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 5K by the end of the year. I know we only got about a month and we got a, about a thousand subs to go. So come on, just help me out a little bit and um, let's see what goes on. But I will see you guys in the next video. Um, peace.